Hi, my name is Gina and I'm here to walk you through the Saxon Math Homeschool curriculum today. We divided this curriculum into three categories, the primary grades, kindergarten through third grade, the middle school, fourth through seventh grade, and then the high school courses. So right now I'm going to discuss the primary grades, kindergarten through third grade. Now these come in kits or they're sold individually. So the kits contain a teacher guide, student workbooks, and a meeting book. The kindergarten kit, however, does not contain the student workbooks. All of the learning there is done with teacher-student interaction through manipulatives and the meeting book. Now the manipulatives are an integral part of the K through third grade program. They serve two purposes. One is for concept development and two for building those critical thinking skills taking concrete thinking to abstract thinking. The manipulative kits are available for each individual grade or as a complete set for K through third grade. There are upgrade options available. For instance, you can substitute the plastic pattern blocks for wooden pattern blocks or the student clocks for a bigger student clock. All right, so let's go, in, go ahead and go into the, uh, each component and what that contains. We have the teacher guide and that has scripted lessons for us. So it's gonna tell you exactly what to say. It takes the guessing out of teaching, and this is particularly good for uh, parents that are unsure about teaching math or for new homeschoolers. Then we have the student workbooks. There's two student workbooks per year, uh, one for each semester. They're black and white. There's no instruction, but there's just the student work pages in them. However, after five lessons, there will be an assessment, which is basically a cumulative test, just going over what they've learned thus far. There's also fact cards that just basically teach number facts. And then we have the meeting book. This is another consumable book, which teaches things like counting, weather, graphing, sequences, patterns, and things like that. So let's just walk through what a typical day might look like when using this program. The teacher guide has a shaded box at the beginning of every lesson. This basically includes any prep instructions needed for the lesson with the list of materials. Now at the onset of each lesson will be the meeting book time, which teaches weather, counting, patterns, calendar, and time. During the meeting portion of the lesson, there is also a reference to a meeting strip. This strip is used for teaching the basic skills of math with money, patterns, and calendar. There's a master sheet of the meeting strip in the front of the teacher guide you can make copies of. After the meeting book lesson, there's a class practice time. This is where the new concepts are taught and manipulatives are used. This time might also include working with the fact cards and practicing your number facts. And then finally, there is a written practice which reinforces and reviews concepts that have been learned. This is workbook practice, which is found in the student workbooks. The answers are in the teacher guide. So each lesson typically takes between 30 to 40 minutes a day, depending on the lesson and the day. So I hope this has helped you understand the kindergarten through third grade curriculum for Saxon Math. 